Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric. And I make apps. Now today I want to talk about Google I.O. 2022 and Flutter 3. Alright, so a couple of weeks ago we had Google I.O. 2022. It's one of my favorite times of year to, to watch that keynote to find out what's going to be new in Android, what's going to be new in Firebase, what's going to be new in Flutter, and all that kind of stuff. And it totally passed me by. I totally missed it. I don't know what I've been doing. I've just been so busy with client work that I totally miss Google I.O. So I spent the weekend catching up watching a lot of those those talks a lot of those speeches what's new in flutter what's new in firebase all this kind of stuff what's new in native android although as a cross-platform developer i don't pay so much attention to what's new in native android unless it's also available in flutter because a lot of the times we do client work i don't do native so much i was always i usually do flutter or i do xamarin and last year i've been leaning a lot towards xamarin and now i see what's in flutter 3 and it got me a lot more excited about it. I got shiny object syndrome where the squirrel, hey, wait, they got desktop support now? Like, so just, just today, I'm doing a quote for a project that I did all in Xamarin Forms for a client, and they want a Windows app. So I could do a UWP app, which I've been, which I've been quoting on, trying to get the, some connection issues and everything like that. And there's like some things that don't quite port over really well. And I keep thinking if I'd done this in Flutter, I'd be set now because we have a, you know, not just support for Windows, but we also have support for Linux desktop and Mac OS desktop and everything like that. It's, it's a lot of the, the, the announcements that came out this last week are just, you know, I thought they were really good. So I finally, you know, I started, so, okay, let me just do like a quick desktop application, see what this is like. And it was like, I'm really impressed with the experience now. Like last year when I was playing around with Flutter 2, when Flutter Web was kind of like, you know, when it's finally released, you know, you're messing around with the pub, pub spec .yaml file, all this kind of stuff. It was just a bit messy, and now you got a lot more command line tools and everything like that. You know, just being able to put things in there and not have to, you know, which is the most current version, which version conflicts with whatever. And I was like really impressed with this kind of stuff. So I'm kind of, I'm, you know, now I'm like looking at Flutter as if like kind of move over to it. And now they have desktop support too. So and not just Windows, but they've got. Linux and Mac OS too, so I think it's, I think it's I think that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to address it because a lot of times, like, because I totally missed it. I didn't want you guys to miss it. If you guys like, you know, you're into to, you know mobile development and you just you know you you watch this channel, but you kind of missed the announcements for you know what was doing what was doing Firebase. A lot of stuff with like um, deployment stuff. It wasn't like stuff that I couldn't see myself ever using, but it was kind of stuff where it's like it wasn't ex as exciting as as Flutter. Um, a few years ago, I made a video about how I think like Dart and Flutter may be the language that rules them all, and it seems like they're definitely moving in that direction. My one big problem with Flutter, my one big thing that I consider Xamarin to have a, an advantage over Flutter in terms of cross-platform development, is that doing plugins is not necessary, is not difficult. Right, it's easy to use native language in in the individual projects to um, you know like the .NET port is a lot more tight. Like you could do like your plugins in C Sharp as well. Where it is in, in Flutter, I think you pretty much have to go into native code, but you know, that's the same as a lot of the other cross-platform frameworks. But you know, let me know what you guys think about Flutter. Let me know if you disagree with me. You guys might just think, Eric, you're just talking out your butt, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing new um, you know are you guys excited about flutter also the improved ad mob support and everything like that is also like a really good feature uh, so I'm like really you know I got these projects that I'm like you know 30% of the way through on I'm like oh do I really want to tear everything up and go back and start these over again and I think I might anyway let me know what you guys think about about flutter 3 about the Google IO announcements uh, and um, you know I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to think. So I hope you guys have a really good day today. I'm going to try to do more videos this week. So, you know, just bear with me. I hope you guys have a, a, a great day. Uh, have a great week. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll talk to you next time.